Today's episode is presented by your new favorite vodka, Game Day Vodka, a smoother, better vodka that embodies the spirit of the game. Go check out Game Day Vodka on social to see if they rep your team's colors. Also go to gamedayvodka.com and go get you a couple bottles using promo code TROSS to get 15% off your order. Now let's get into the episode. the show what a wonderful delight yeah uh, potty and t-rods better chop up on the mic just sit back have a laugh catch a vibe and enjoy the ride yeah what's up man what's happening bro about to get this episode popping Yes, guest special guest man. He was he was awesome, time. awesome. You guys, everybody that's listening, we've been asked probably from the start of the podcast to get this guy on the most, and we got him. We got him. Ladies we got him. <laughs> we did. <it. laughs> you guys, we are the best. We are the best, and there's no question it. about it. He's yeah. the man. But yeah. uh, you know him as uh, Vucevic, but yes, we will get to that in a second. But yes, I've had a lot going on in my life, man. I am a uh, you're a father. A, you're, you're a father, a father of, of two. Of two. <laughs> I'm yeah. father of two yeah. now. Did you guys name it? Um, no, we're still kind of going through the process. But let me break it down. So I woke up in the morning. I woke up in the morning and I opened my daughter's room to her shades. The shades to her room, and there's a cat right outside of it. And you mean the shit like she has like a like a balcony? Not a balcony. She has like a no, 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 no. It's actually like uh, it's like a tri level. What you say? So it's kind of like the bedroom is like half under. Does that make sense? Like the windows like ground level. Yeah. yeah, yeah so okay, it's like the base. It. It's like a bottom. It's like a bottom floor. So got it. See it. So there's a cat right there, and it's like a kitten. I'm like, okay, well, it's weird. It's like 8 a.m. I'm like, whatever. And then Harper's like, open the door. We open the door, and the cat just sprints in. I'm like, oh gosh. And I'm not a cat person at all. Never been. Always used like I'm allergic to cats. <laughs> I've always learned to use the allergic to cats move. And um, yeah, and it's tiny it's little been kitten. Two weeks since. Yeah, <laughs> no, it's been, been a couple. It's been a, it's been like five days, but it's crazy because it was like in perfect condition. So I was just like, what the hell? Like this thing when is. You say perfect condition? Yes. We like are, clean. Like, like, like no, but I'm talking about like clean. Like fresh out of a bath, clean. Like perfect white for like nothing. Know. So yeah, it was just yeah, weird. Sure, it, it, sure. it, it was just weird because it's like, why is this kidding that probably like 10 weeks old, perfect condition? Like, is it our neighbors? So obviously we did our first thing, like check with the neighbors, check with people, go get it checked for a microchip, because now you can put microchips. They put microchips in you know, all yeah. the animals and anything, kids, animals. Pretty much. Yeah. Didn't Not have kids, one. But yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, they do. I'm pretty sure they have something for kids now. It's kind of weird. Oh, but um not my child. No, never. Um no. I won't even get the vaccine. No, I'm joking. Um, so two shots, baby. <laughs> two shots, tequila. Back to the cat. So I post. So I go to I go to Spoke. I, I'm trying to figure out like what the hell do I do with this thing? I want to get it out of here. So I go to like the Spokane Lost Animals on Facebook, and it has like forty thousand people. I'm like, geez, that's a lot, bro. People are so passionate about animals. About animals. It's yes, bad. very. I mean, Spokane is not a big city. We're talking like. 400,000 people or whatever, 300,000 people and 50 of them, thousand of them are on this Facebook group. So yeah, but like it's, it's cats, it's, bro. Don't fuck with cats. <laughs> <laughs> what, was, what was his name again? You always ask me, uh, are you, uh, are you uh, friends with him? Bro, it's so funny. Um, some rock. Nah, yeah. Fuck. Rock. Uh, oh, we'll, we'll come back to it. We'll come back okay, to it. We'll okay. So I, I take a picture of the cat. Put it up there. Say Luca, hey. Luca Magnata. Ah! <laughs> Luca Magnata. <laughs> this is why I'm keeping the cat. But name him Luca. <laughs> Chill. Magnata. Uh, Magnata. So Magnata. I post. Okay. I, I I post it and like instantly, people liking it, sharing it, like. Go get a check. Go get a check for microchip. Like, oh, you're you're like you're its fur angel. You're just meant for its life. Like, thank you so much for taking the care of this cat. Like, you're unbelievable. Fur like, angel. Get the dude, fuck out of here. keep like crazy cat ladies. 
thousands, like hundreds of comments, stuff like that. No one, no one's, no one's saying anything though. No one like saying this is mine, like nothing. And we still haven't heard anything. So we're still just taking care of it. And like, obviously Harper's gotten obsessed with it, but yeah. Dude, what, do do? what do you do? What do you do? I don't know. It's close to me said, too. Hey, I know it sucks. You have my cat and I need him back. And what are you going to do? What are you going to do? You're going to tear that cat yeah. from your daughter's hands? I don't think you will. I think I think it was like a litter that someone maybe just oh tossed, just lost, lost it lost track of them yeah, yeah. or didn't care because that happens a lot like a, a baby like a cat gets pregnant and they're just like I'm not taking care of this yeah because cats when they get pregnant they like they find like little burrows to go and they just yeah. like disappear for a while like my my neighbor just had well they had puppies but like they lost their dog like two days before it like was giving birth to these puppies and they found them in a bush. Or found her in a bush with like a bunch of puppies. So I know like animals probably just go off and do their own thing. So with this, I can. But that cat, it, it, it had, how old is the cat? You think it can't so be like we I'm asked a brand them, new kitten? No, no. If it ran to your door and it runs in, like that cat's so at least a couple months old, a few months old. Yeah. So we asked the lady when we went to Petco because they checked it. We went to like the vet too. She said probably like ten weeks. So that's like two and a half months. Yeah. So it's outside, and like I was, I like obviously I started doing research on cats, like. When can you let them out? Like, by themselves. like they say, like four to five months, you can let them out. Then, like, vac- for dummies. vaccines and, or like just like shots. And, you know, you don't want to get anything weird, but it's been a great cat. Chills with me all day, sits at wherever I go. Obviously, I'm the feeder, so it knows I'm see, food. I'm but, food. See, I'm, I'm not a cat person. Bro. I'm not at all. Like, I'm, I never have. I've never had a cat. I've never had a cat in my life. Oh, no, but this is what I'm saying. Like, I'm a, I wasn't a cat person growing up. So, like, I remember when I was a little kid sitting on a curb, like, at my house for just being outside like a kid does. A cat strolled up on me. And I was like, okay, let me, let me, you know, like, pet him. And then he fucking clawed the piss out of me. Like, literally, I just reached my hand out and he just, I was just like, what the fuck? And then, like, it was the most painful thing I had at that point in my life. So I was just like, all right, fuck cats. Like, and ever since I seen him, I just, like, I really could give two shits about him. Like, I don't really care. Yeah, yeah, me so, too. I mean, so I just, I, I can't no, bro. up my door. I'll just close the shades right again. See, <laughs> see, see, that's the thing, though. Like, cats do that all the time. But, like, when it's a kitten, I like, it makes it a lot more difficult. Because you're like, that thing could get swooped by an owl at any time. Like, or a big bird. Like, who knows what could get it. And I, I'm 100% with you. I've been scratched by cats. They're you're, very you unpredictable. You are a hoe. No, <laughs> you, oh, you said when a kitten shows up, I just can't turn away. I'm no, just like, no, where are the eagles at? <laughs> come, come grab this thing. I need to get this on camera. No, it, it, it is like I and I've definitely been that way. But yeah, it's, it was tough this time. I don't know if it's I'm getting older. I have a daughter and obviously Harper was the influence of it. But yeah, that's my cat story, man. It's, it is Stop what it is. using Harper as an influence. Like it wasn't. No, it's it's I, growing on me. I'm not gonna lie. It's growing on me for yeah, sure. For sure. Like like the, like a dog should on a father. Yeah, yeah. Uh, you you cat. see it every time you call me. I'm like holding it. And what's his name? We don't. Uh, they. It's a girl, and I don't know. They want to go with. I don't know. They're gonna decide. Harper's so his name's see. being thrown out. Got it. Harper too. <laughs> um. What's damn, up with you, bro? man? What's up with you? I know you. I seen your son. Uh, yeah. Graduate kindergarten. Graduation um meeting some of the not really meeting the parents for the first time but you know seeing other parents for the first time so weird bro like i feel like i'm just always the youngest one yeah and i just i don't know i don't really are you though parents. are you I, I mean i'm i'm 30 yeah i just turned 30 i would be very surprised if there was any other 20 Nine year olds, twenty eight year olds in that crowd, like the the guy, like the the people I have. So, like, it's a yeah, generation around. though. It's a generation though. Like, yeah. what, you either have a kid, like you have a kid early, like that, or it's like most people are waiting until they're married, and now people are getting married in their thirties. You know what yeah, I mean? And I mean, yeah, and it's like it's we send our kids to a private school, and these kids are rich. Holy, <laughs> are these kids rich, bro? I, I mean, we've had like celebrities have go to our school. It is, yeah. Nice. The campus is like a million dollar campus, like it's multi million dollar campus. It's, it's tennis like, courts, like a little college, schools, basketball courts, baseball fields, like all types of stuff. You could, and, and it's like it's a prep school, so they have stuff that they have uh rooms for like you know exchange students coming like living. So it's yeah. just like dorms. And stuff. Yeah, we we had we had um. Yeah, we had the graduation, so now I'm currently, you know, trying to set up, you know, like a little graduation party for my son's class, and I think it might take him, get the kids together, a few of his friends, take him to, like, to a water park. So this is weird for me because now I'm, like, yeah, never – it's just weird. I I mean, I know I'm not a child, 
but I just didn't feel like I was, I'm, I was coordinating with others' parents to take their kids to. It, so this it, is the it, first time for me. It, it Life is, is coming it, at me fast. It, it does get weird when you have to start like coordinating with parents and then like, Bro. then their kids become your responsibility. I'm like, this is like not really what I want, but I have to do it for my daughter. Like, cause I don't want to be responsible for someone else's kid, man. Like that, it is it's a lot of pressure. Weird, it's like, a lot of pressure too. Like you don't want anything to happen. Is, and it's also like, like, oh, sorry, I got his knees. <coughs> Yikes. Um, but no, but I feel like some of these parents, I mean, I don't know. I, I, yes, I'm a professional athlete, but I'm also just like young. I just feel like I come from a different background from a lot of these guys. So I don't, I just don't. I mean, that's you know, for like sure. I had one guy, yeah, for sure. And it's just like some of these people are like, some of the guys, I just feel like I'm young. Like, I feel like Dude, okay, hold on. Insurance. And I'm just like, oh, I don't even know how to hold a conversation, or even make small talk with these people because I just don't know, you know. Well, you can't talk to doctors and insurance agents. Went, and it's just like, you know me, bro. It's like, yeah, I'm into yeah, streaming, yeah, yeah. Twitch, video games, I have my podcast, I have my family, I'm a basketball player. Like, you know. Yeah. yeah. And Today, it's just like, yeah, well, you know, we like to take our kids on RV trips on the weekends. And yeah. You know, so camp, and it's just like, all right, that's cool. That's really cool. There's nothing wrong with that. But yeah. Little Susie and does we, fencing like, how, and what, like what do I say next? Four H. She does the shit. <laughs> Little Susie does four H, sure. rides horses, and does fencing and For plays sure. cricket. Like, <laughs> like, and it's just different. I don't know. It's just a different lifestyle, I guess. Because even my wife's like, yeah, it's just weird. Like, all there's, there's moms, you know, always trying to get the the money pot together so we can get, you know, decorate the door for certain holidays in the kids' classrooms. And yeah, you know, they want to sure. do this and do that. And it was so funny today because when those, the parent, like the, the few moms that like kind of do the hands-on decorating and they kind of like hands-on with the classroom, they were all allowed because the, the, the graduation today was in an auditorium. And with all this cover protocol, like you get assigned seats and yada, yada, yada. And you have to reserve these seats. Like, <laughs> yeah. Ahead. Tell me why all the moms that like work with the teachers in the schools, like the teachers, they got the closest seats oh, right yeah. up Easy. in front of everything. They got the best pictures, all that. So I'm just like, oh, there's a system to everything. Like, there's, yeah, a system there's a system to everything. everything. There's a hierarchy. And, yeah, you know, for we, real, we for real. Figure out where we are. Not. And so it was humbling and it was just weird. And do you get, do you <sighs> get like, do they like, so going back to that, do you like get dads that are like trying to talk to you a lot? Well, not really because my next door neighbor, which is our kids are in the same, you know, kindergarten class. He's a famous baseball player. Yeah. And he, I mean, it's a big deal. So, I mean, that I'm not like the big dog. I'm not like the, so he oh, gets, so, guy, so he gets, he gets bugged more than you do. Not even because he has a bunch of kids that go there that have been going there. He Forever. was just telling me today, like, Oh yeah. Like this teacher just like one of the teachers told them like, Oh yeah, this is our eighth, you know, Damon kid at Windermere <laughs> Prep. So like he has, he's like, OG, OG. He's been doing this for almost the better part of a decade coming to these events, yeah. graduations, all this. So it's just like, people know him. So it's not like a new thing, but you don't get don't like know, a, man. you don't you, get like you, a goatee I, Ross I do, or anything. No, I do. I do see, you know, dad's kind of like looking at me and staring for extra sizing you up like, sizing you up it's like you're tristan's dad it's like <laughs> no shit <laughs> yeah i'm tristan's dad like no i'm i'm here for a little yeah that's funny i don't know it's, it's a transition i'm trying to figure out but all right that's yeah, awesome though well uh let's uh let's just uh let's get into this interview with you vooch man it's awesome and you guys are gonna enjoy this one before we get into this interview with our guy, Nikola Vucevic, let's talk about one of our favorite sponsors, the everydayfan.com, your one-stop shop for all your sporting news, whether it's the NBA, NFL, or even the EPL league, they have got you covered. But honestly, it does not stop there. They have everything from pop culture to wrestling and entertainment. There is something for everyone. With some of the best writers in the game, come get a fresh perspective from everyday fans like yourself. Also, while you're there, check out their memorabilia shop and make your man cave one to every envy. That is the everydayfan.com. Go check it out now to the interview. Today's episode, we have a very special guest, uh, one of my longtime friends, good teammate. I've known this guy since college, uh, all star in the league, two time all star. You know, he's Mr. Orlando, oh, now Chicago, but, uh, Nikola Vucevic. What's up, bro? What's up, T-Ross? What's up, guys? I just want to say um, 
it's been a long time since I wanted to be on this podcast and you've asked me multiple times and <laughs> nothing came out of it. So I'm, I'm very, very proud to be on it. And I'm really looking forward to people's no, reaction actually, about your, but hopefully it, I can. It's his uh, fault. It's his fault. No, 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 that, no, that, no, 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 no. We, we had you scheduled for the day after the trade, but after the trade happened, it was pretty much uh, <laughs> it, it threw everybody in this straight chaos. So um, yeah, we, we trust me. Yeah, I wanted no, that, to get that you and been, Evan on, great but it's whatever. So, so Vooch, oh, Terrence tells me too busy talking shit to KD. Oh God! I saw that. I saw that in real time, and when I saw that, I texted him. I was like, "I like it, Evan. I like it." <laughs> Not too many guys would do this down twenty. You have a lot of nuts on you, bro. You're playing. That's a lot of fire. And the the, the commentators are like, "You know, I, you like to see it. Hey, he has a little spark. You know, down twenty five. You showing that fight? I'm just like, yeah, I get it. You know, Evan, Evan, that's my guy. But Evan, yeah. just not KD." Just not KD. What were you about to ask, Steve? I was gonna say, Vooch, Terrence told me you're a big Star Wars fan, man. And we're all sure. we're all into the Star Wars series. Like, where did that start for you? So I didn't USC. I didn't see the no no no. I didn't see the originals. Uh like obviously I didn't see when it came out, but the first one I ever saw was a Phantom Menace. And I was uh I, I just went to like my mom took me actually to the movies with my friend and that was the movie that was on and uh, I saw it and I liked it and then after that like and I was talking to other people about it and they told me there was a whole other like Star Wars movies a whole other Star Wars world and I, that I really didn't know about and then I was like I don't know when it came out like eight or nine something like that so I started getting into it a little bit but it wasn't until I was a little bit older that I really started getting to understand it and like really getting into the deep deep Thing. So I want to say like a little bit before college where I like kind of really jumped into Star Wars. I and think as you get older, you see it totally differently. You can like, it's not for young kids. I think if you want to get the full Star Wars thing. Definitely for young kids. But there's been countless times that we walk into the locker room and have heated debates, heated debates that last 15, 20 minutes easily about who's the strongest uh jedi who like what did we usually argue about it was always about like who's like who was better out of a lot like, of times it, it, it was a lot of times yeah uh so always had something to do with all the time oh it was yeah. about the last movies and his a lot of times we like c- compared him like uh like evan and you would like talk about like if you would bring me like other superheroes compared like jedis would no, work? no, not that. We would only do that when we used to say like who is stronger out of like Goku and Superman, and well, that would true. cause like like civil wars in the locker <laughs> room where it was ridiculous. There was this and, video on YouTube my friend once sent me. I can't like, and we've been trying to find it for so long, and it was like it was this great video, and it was like a bunch of like superheroes and villains and whatnot, and like. And so Vader was in it, and at the end, like he comes out out of the best of them because of the force. And how you can use the force and how you can like just control oh, all shit. of those. Well, I'm just saying that was the video. I didn't see. No, you didn't see that video. You guys might. Have- I swear, I promise you. I need to find it. I I, I have to ask my friends. But uh, it was like There's years no ago. But just because he can use the force, he was able. He can control everybody else, and he would just. That's for that reason, he would be the the, the, the strongest. Okay, and so I'm, I know the answer, but for the people out there listening, Virginia. did you like the last three movies or were they just like an abomination to you? Because you had a very strong opinion about them. You had so, them, really. Yeah, no. So Force Awakens, I can't say that I hated it, but it wasn't like, it wasn't like a, like a good movie. Like The Last Jedi was a joke. Just terrible, <laughs> and the, the 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 rise of Skywalker. Even there worse. was like I don't know. There were some okay things, but I just like they just they're not Star Wars movies. They're like it was bad all the way around. The last three movies were bad movies. Like, like but when you compare it to the original ones, yeah, they're horrible. But it is Star Wars, so you, there's always things that come up that you're like gonna enjoy as a fan. But overall, yeah, it was it, it wasn't it wasn't great. Yeah, I didn't like them either. Great. No, it was, it was so who like to... who's your top five then Jedi's? Since you mentioned that, who who top, for you who top is it? Five Jedi's? I don't even know three Jedi's. I don't know about top five. Uh, you don't have. Can top I just? Five. I don't have a top five Jedi. So yeah. I'm a, well. I mean, Luke is kind of a given. I'm a big Ahsoka fan. Huge fan. Really? Huge, huge. Yeah, I love her in, in Clone Wars. I, I love her in Clone Wars. 
And then, Sorry, did you see? <laughs> did you see? Uh, what's the name of the Yeah, uh, oh, the of course, and then Mandalore. Yeah, yeah, got it, got it, got it. Yeah, and then all, yeah, great. And then also in Rebels, I didn't really watch much of Rebels, but I saw they had an episode with uh, what's it called when she fights Vader, uh, mm. and that fight is pretty cool. I thought the Rebels were a little too childish, but the that fight with uh, Vader, I saw that, so that was pretty cool. I like her a lot. Um, Obi Wan, huge, huge Obi Wan fan. So you're pumped for that Obi-Wan. series to come out. Yes, big time. If it ever uh, comes out, v- uh, very much dislike uh, Master Window. I feel like, but Master yeah, Master Window, he's he ruined it all because of him. Anakin turn. We bad. did argue about this too, and uh, my too, yeah. my defense was always that Anakin was was fucked from jump, and there was nothing anybody could do to make him like he's always going to deal with them demons, and all I felt like the Jedi did was just delay that tragedy. But like he was eventually always going to be. But maybe if they put an arm around him and like you know kind of helped him, bro. Really. His mom was killed by sand people. He killed the sand. Like he, there was no putting your arm around a kid like that after that happens. Like it's, it was too late for him. He was already like a bastard child type yeah. thing. It was. But then maybe if he didn't turn, they would have never. Uh killed Palpatine, although well, Palpatine survived or whatever. He, that's, yeah. Palpatine. All that's ruined. Yeah, um, but, either way, I mean, I'm, I'm excited for this new series they, 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 they should have, yeah, they should have never uh, made new movies. It was, it was just great it's the way it was. Money, guy. You know, I know, but it just, like, my, my biggest issue was they went away from what Star Wars is. They didn't respect none of the Jedi, like, rules, none of the, like, Jedi ways, like, how it's done. Like, they didn't respect any of that. Like, everything was just so easy for, like, Ray, And then for, then you know, like, Kylo Ren was a terrible villain. And then, like, then Darth Sidious comes out of nowhere. And then now you have all these, like, you're just not following, like, how the Jedi yeah. way is and the sit and everything is. You're just throwing things here and there. And then, like, in Last Jedi, Yoda comes out and everybody's like, like, oh, great. And then he just burns the Jedi book. And it's like, wait, hold up. Like, for you. So for, like, years and years, like strict, 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 and all of a sudden he comes out of nowhere and he's like, no, 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 it's just like, fuck that, just throw it away. We don't need it. Jedi, <laughs> exactly. you're just... a true passionate fan. I love it. Yeah, well, that, that was a, that, that was why I like it because it's like, it's deep. Like you know, you have the Jedi's ways, you have like you know, dark side. Like that. I feel, I, I think a lot of it you can connect to real life. That's why I like it. Well, like you said, it's like not, it's not like a kids thing. Like once, you, like you said, once you get older, like. Obviously, like I got all the blockbusters, got my sour worms, got home, watched them all. But when I was little, but you don't really understand. You're like, oh, I just like seeing the fighting scenes or whatever. Yeah. But the yeah. bigger you dive into it, it's, it gets deep, and there's a lot of different meanings in it for sure. But um, like I love, I love Vader obviously because like he's one of the coolest characters I've ever made. But more so because like if you really like go deep into like like I read a bunch of comics about him. I have like a nice collection here actually, and then like a bunch of videos on YouTube that people like made about it. And like, you see how like painful the, his life was how like like how he was fighting like, you know, yeah the thing is just like so deep that like it's it's like not many like if you want to call like superhero movies or like anything like really have that so that's why i really enjoyed uh watching it and like getting deep into it are you yeah, a costume guy are you, are you like a seven foot There's are you a no big way. costume no, guy no, like are you like you, no are you just way. like you got it you, <laughs> No way. I wish. No, I, if I, if, no, I, I try to find some couple times for Halloween to dress up, but uh, the pants would come to about my knees or the, like three quarters, <laughs> and then I, I, it wouldn't work. I have a mask, but I don't have the rest. Action figures and stuff. Do you like to buy those type of things? I have. Yeah, I have a bunch of. I have a, a big collection of Legos, Star Wars Legos. Huh? Oh, they, really? They're go. just. They're just not built. I have them. I'm. I'm waiting until I retire, and then I'm like in the house, <laughs> wherever we live. I'm gonna like build a nice room for myself to build them. Uh, I have a big, and I actually even like bought some that were like old Legos on like Amazon, eBay, like research. Yeah, there's so uh, many people didn't know about me. Yeah, I love Legos. I just don't build them now because I'm always worried, like you know, if like the they're not integrated, you know, and then I have to move. I have to <laughs> like. Oh, those like, are like if a, if a mover was to like break my Lego, it would, it would not be good for him. Uh, you're gonna <laughs> put like glass the case Lego, around them. That's what you're spending your hundred million dollar contract on? Fucking Legos, Legos! Wow. I love it. We're fucking, it is what it is. <laughs> no, it's just a hobby of mine. I mean, that's awesome. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I have right. I plan to build a nice room with it. Okay, so, bro, I haven't really talked to you since like the whole trade happened. Like, how are you adjusting to 
Chicago. I know you're like being in Orlando, it's like a small town, big town type feel. And then going to Chicago is completely different. Like, are you getting used to that? No, uh, I mean, it's uh, when it happened, it was a big mix of emotion, honestly. Like, it was just, uh, you know, it was very hard for me to leave here. Like, I, I just, I really feel like I had a special bond. I mean, you, you know this. I had like a very special yeah. bond with like the, the, the team, the Everybody. city. Everybody, like, you know, just has been here so long. And it's, I think it really took a whole other level, went to a whole other level, you know, like last three years when I made it all star, went to the playoffs, and I became an all star again. Like, it really established myself. And I think people also appreciate the fact that I stayed here for so long and, you know, I never, like, you know, tried to bring much drama or anything. So it was, it was hard for me mainly because of that, you know, just because I was leaving all those people behind. And, like, you know, it's just like, in a way, you know, it's like, it was a right or not to, to do it. And so, it wasn't easy, but uh, then at the same time, it was a new challenge for me. I felt like, you know, if if here, like, we didn't have success, let's say, I know this year we have a bunch of injuries, but if this next year we didn't have success or things didn't work out, like, it probably would have happened anyways because I wasn't going to, you know, they, I don't know, if they were going to pay yeah, me again if we, were, if we weren't, you know, if we weren't winning, which, you know, the business side. So you know, I was just like, oh, it's a new chance for me, new opportunity. And then, like, I was like, you know, the Bulls, I was too great organization great you know city great franchise you know history i was a bulls fan growing up because of mj you know just the whole thing so but it really wasn't mixing and i think honestly it was going to take me a while to totally adjust you know and i don't know if it will ever happen totally because just of my bond with people here but you know it's just it's the way it is i mean I kinda, here, how long were you here for 10 years so no uh nine this was my ninth ninth yeah, eight, nine, yeah. nine, nine, till. and also That's like my kids time. were born here like we have a lot yeah. of friends have a lot so just a lot of change. And then like, if it was just me and my wife, it'd probably be a little easier, but you know, with, with everything that we yes. know with the kids and stuff, it's just, it takes, it just, I don't know. I think even to like, I've adjusted obviously, mm -hmm. but it's going to take a while for me to really settle. I think next, next season, like once we find a place to live there and we settle in mm -hmm. and like kids get start school and we meet people, we start like exploring the city, yeah. I think it'll get a little easier. Also like this re season was also like super crazy. Like, I think yeah, the two months or whatever, two and a half months I was in Chicago, I was maybe there for like two, three weeks max. Right? Yeah, because I know Crazy. the transition, the transition period is always the toughest. Yeah. That's just like before you it, settled in, it's, yeah. it's tough. I, like when, before when like guys complain about getting traded and like how it was like, I was always like, eh, I can't be that bad. Like I got traded in the summer, but like I was happy because I didn't really like my situation in Philly. So it was a great mm -hmm. spot for me. And I always liked Orlando. I felt like it was nice for me. So. I was like, could, and then like, when it happens in mid season, it's it's totally different. Well, you know, you went through it. Yeah, uh, yeah bro, I I got traded. What felt like the next morning after the deadline, like I was grabbing my loop to go to shoot around, and they was like, yeah, you don't need that. You need to catch this play. So, I mean, but it's not bad. I mean, I I wasn't I was in Toronto for four and a half years, which is you know a long time, but I can't imagine double that because I've never been anywhere. Yeah. for remotely that long like not even in portland like i moved around a lot so That's i know yeah, I mean, established I, stuff. Like when i left like usc obviously but no it was different so like once to the nba so it was like my dream yeah yeah so i, I just think that there is something about or orlando like if you establish yourself here like people embrace you it's not like a crazy sports city like you know boston yeah. and chicago new york mm -hmm. or like when just fans are just insane about it but when they like you here like is there, there's something like there's a special i felt oh, like sure. also my personality my the way i am was great for here so i think there was just i think there's something about the city here that you know it's, it's not easy to you know find it elsewhere but also like when, when i when i go to chicago like like they're really into it so like i walk around yeah. the city and i have like people like open their windows and just like yeah Bushy, we love you man thanks for coming like and i'm like all right this is a little different you know like yeah. so it's, it's it's just much more passion unfortunately it's like we're like the last or second last team to have fans so i didn't yeah. get to enjoy that part so i'm looking forward to that like playing in front of a full united center like all that is like you know it's gonna be a thing special and trust me bro it's different it's different you are an all-star you're a really good player like i think no matter if you went to in the saskatchewan canada like if they had a team that you would be loved because you are one of the like best players in the nba so like that part is going to you're gonna get love no, no matter where you go no i appreciate it. No, i know I'm, I'm just like i already see it like the way people yeah, are towards sure. you there and like for it's, sure like they're very supportive whenever they see me and they recognize me. Like it's it's more intense than it ever was. You can hear people, like I said, it's not like they're not huge into it. Like they're fans, but not like as it's like they really love the Bulls. Now, 
if you don't do well, it's probably like exactly there's, sure. there's higher just, highs but, and lower lows. Yeah, for real. It, it, <laughs> it's, it's I think also it's good for me to not be in a bigger market, being a bigger mm -hmm. friend, like, you know, if something sure, where sure. there is that type of kind of like pressure that you really, so something, uh, you know, you, you always kind of want to declare. So hopefully if we do have success there, I think obviously it'd be pretty great because they, they really love the bull. So it'd be something. And then you also should, you should my wear favorite, number seven. Uh, why seven? Number seven. Why number Too seven? Maybe. Oh yeah. Yeah. Oh, well. <laughs> yeah. yeah that, nine, nine is my. I'm surprised he didn't retire his number. They right. Could've. That sucks. He actually. If you're in the last dance, you should have your your number retired. <laughs> yeah. Now he had a big impact, but the, like my favorite part, like, is when we the intro. Like every time, I get so fun for it. You're gonna get so annoyed at that. Yeah. You're gonna get so no, I don't think bro. ever. I love that music and the bulls like running through the city. It's the best in the league, that's why. Nah, for sure. I'm not. Eh, yeah, they won. They won some championships in that building, right? Yeah, the last three. Oh wow! So that's yeah. history. It, you're you're in a, history. Yeah, I, mean, it's, I don't know. Yeah, I, always, mean, I always thought it wasn't I, there. I went to see the statue, and then like you see like MJ's pictures like all over the, like, you know, and like the practice Watch facilities, the last Jersey. Actually, I definitely have to. But like, and then there's a couple of <laughs> people that still work there from when MJ was there, so I want to ask them. Like one of the writers for the team, he wrote a couple of books on MJ. So, like, when, whenever they come back into the arenas, I'll, like, all these things, I'm so looking forward to. Like, it's a. To, like, you gotta, you gotta find the that. SIDS of the team and get the the history info, the history breakdowns. Yeah. But, yeah, um, so. yeah, man. No, like, but I think I, it'd, be, it'd be it'd be a good situation for me, and I'm, I'm really looking forward to it. And hopefully, you know, we can have success. I think it'd be really great. I think just this year, I could never really like settled down and enjoy them, but just because the no, whole season no. was insane. And they actually had like, like, we actually had a lot of games that were canceled in the first part. So I had to like, you know, we, I, I, think, mm. I wonder if I played more than 72 games, actually. I don't know. I you might've played, played 82. Cause you played all the games here. <laughs> oh, <laughs> yeah, and then I only missed two in, in Chicago. So I, don't, I wonder if like something, if I played more, but yeah, it's just like, you know, you don't have no fans. It's like all the, like the restriction stuff you just don't. And then we played on the road a lot. So it wasn't, yeah. I got a question for you, Vooch. Um, so obviously you're teammates with Terrence. Tell our fans like what type of what like, what type of teammate is Terrence, like on and off the court? Like give us give us some background on him, insight on him. Uh, uh, the uh, weight room. Yes, big, big I love, weight room I love guy. yeah, I love <laughs> every time he walks in the weight room, I'd be like, Terrence, why are you why why are you here? Okay, so the one thing I hate about Terrence, this is Terrence, he comes to the gym. <laughs> We we're like you know it's like game fifty whatever we're all like you know it's morning time we're just it's shoot around like you know we're just trying to like you know get loose get going whatever I'm like foam rolling for ten minutes activating every single muscle in my body you know trying to get going this guy walks into arena shoes un unlaced just laces them up with like thirty seconds on the on the on the clock takes a ball and like windmills it's like nine forty five in the morning. I'm half asleep. <laughs> I'm like, what is this? We, we do it. Y'all just see the way Vooch warms up, though. It's 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 an all day process, <laughs> it, especially on the road. We didn't have shoot around this year, but I, he would always be in his workout clothes in the morning. He would he would be coming from like a workout, going to shoot around. We can't even really go anywhere. And then he's just like, yeah, I have to go foam roll in my room. I have to get a bike in the room. I have to go take a nap and get. I'm just like, bro, your day sounds. Str it's an all day thing for him, bro. He it's can't very... relax on game days. No, I it's cannot. ridiculous. <laughs> no, it's uncertain. I'm the type of guy that cannot like just lay down all day and then go play. Like I can't. If I do that, like it's I'm gonna have the worst game ever. Like I have to activate myself in the morning. I have to like break a sweat. Like do something and then like. Like even on back to backs, I go and like ride the bike for 10, 15 minutes. I stretch, I do things so I can like be get moving. Like I, I just can't. <laughs> so like we do like the running tests. I'm like, you know, warming up, stretching, doing all these things <laughs> to just make the test. This guy just walks in the gym, sprints right away. And I'm like, Oh yeah, bro. I but you know I, me, I hate I hate I mean it is just like I'm I mean, I'm great at it, it, but I hate it. No, no, but, yeah, but bro, so it's... but so to get back to your, your question, uh <laughs> Tyson's also the type of guy that he's like, yo, let's go to dinner when we go to the city and you text him, he never responds back. And then I don't know. I was better. He, I've been I've been better he, the last I, yeah, before the better. pandemic. Then, I was better. Yes. I was better. And then yeah, he was. And then like we started doing that a little bit. But I mean, honestly, you no, know, just because I mean he was, you know, one of my favorite teammates to, to be around. And um I mean it was always and honestly, fun. you know why I didn't go to dinner. You know why I didn't go to dinner with you and Evan. 
the year before is because of the whole uh, yeah, uh, yeah yeah, yeah. Okay, so yeah, you know yeah, yeah right, you know right, right. I, I wasn't cool with yeah. that guy so I, okay, okay. <laughs> yeah, so I didn't go to dinner <laughs> all the time because of that no okay. we, we no it, it was always a uh, fun and we uh we always uh I don't know it was, I mean it was uh, we felt like we had a lot of stuff in common it was fun to you know hang oh, out off sure. the court like we always had a good time and then on the court I felt like we had a really good connection I mean playing and I was you know playing with him and so yeah it was I mean honestly one one of favorite teammates i had we did have a little bit of a fallout uh oh philly <laughs> yeah philly he was oh, his really first happened. year like he wanted like he was i was asking for the ball he didn't pass, he shot at it like i did curse like no it wasn't that it, was it that it was no that. i think you might have like, said something about defense <laughs> no you t- told me to play defense <laughs> I told you pass me the something the happened. Ball, and <laughs> you, you might told me, me to pass the play ball, some, and then you told me play some defense, and I was like, and then I said, I don't. know, We went like back and forth, and then like I tried to apologize because I did went, I did go a little too far oh, a little bit. So bad. And then he wouldn't like he didn't talk to me for like a couple of weeks. I want to say, and then I don't know where we like it, it, it just, maybe I don't know. But that was then, the first like, year. Uh, that was the first year you guys yeah. were together. Well, no, yeah, no, 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 nah, second no, no, year. No. That was the second year. No, that no was, I got, I got, that was the third year, the third year, the first year, that I, year, whatever. year, and then a year after that, yeah. I got hurt the next, and then, yeah, yeah. the third year. Contract. And then, so, and then that, then, but after, with that, but I think when, because, so, his first full year with us, he got hurt, I got hurt, so we were, like, doing a lot of stuff. Yeah, we were fucked. Uh, together, like, off the court, and, uh, you know, like, rehab, and, like, we, you know, we weren't, we always do rehab at the same time, so I think that's when a lot of the, you know. And then also the you know the Washington USC, you know, yeah, I, lot. I didn't know I didn't know Vooch was uh was European until I got to the league because I always tell him this like his accent I didn't hear his accent until whew, for sure until I got to the team when I started talking I was like oh I know you're from a different country but I was like damn your accent is like you have a really good American accent but now like when I hear him t- talk now it's just like. Jeez, like this guy's straight from here. Yeah, I, I bought I bought a GMC Sierra truck, and he hates it. He thinks I'm so American. <laughs> oh, bro, he brought he brought a GMC truck, not even like a Chevy or a Ford. <laughs> so and he has a Mustang. He has a, he has a Ford Mustang. American muscle, he baby. G, he has a GMC truck. He has it lifted. He has the tires a little dark. So it's just like the most American thing you've ever seen, bro. <laughs> <laughs> okay, he has it. one he European car. Two. He has like a hatchback with the, no, the Audi I hatchback. Two, I have two European cars. And and what, the Porsche, Porsche too. Okay. Yeah, I, the Porsche is nice. The GT was. was okay, in my defense, Europeans make very small cars now, and it's I can't fit in them. Exactly. Thank but, yeah. No, for sure. No, for sure. Well, I was like, I, I used to hate like trucks. I used to think they're like super unnecessary, and then like new ones are actually like very nice. Like they're updated. They, they look nice. Like they drive smoother. You can do like a bunch of stuff with them. So and, they're uh, nice. Trucks are nice. And also, my son is you know he's two years and like five months now, but he's like you know 40, 50 pounds. He's huge. Serious. So yeah, I needed like guy. big space for his car seat for him to like, and then later on too, like when he so. I was like, I need space. And also for myself, like a lot of cars I was getting, if I move up my seat all the way back, he can't sit behind me. So, you know, I had to get a big car. And so truck was the best way to go. It was the most space. So, but I actually might have to get rid of it for Chicago because it's just too big. And like the streets are not like, it's not easy to drive. Yeah. Trust me, you might need it, bro. It's going to snow. Well, but I'm, I'm going to get it like a big issue. Actually, so I might get a Cadillac or I might get like a GMC, like the Yukon or something. I'm staying American. Yeah. Yeah. I, yeah. I heard the minivans are pretty good. So check that out. I will never um, drive a minivan. <laughs> I, would never, I, I will, I will bike. I will not drive a minivan. I will That's not. what I love about Vooch too. You guys don't know this about Vooch, but Vooch, he, he has, he, he likes his things a certain way. And yeah. anything outside of that is is blasphemy. He won't he won't even consider it. And that's <laughs> that's also why I love Vooch. Like he's one of the funniest teammates I've ever had. But yeah, either way. But uh, last question. People, not, not many people understand my humor. I do, many, and it's it took me a while. You know me, but yeah, he did. Yeah, he, he for taught sure. out, he, first thing Terrence tells me, he like after a couple of days, like like I, I was like saying some stuff. He's like, You have a very dry sense of humor. <laughs> it and I was is. like, Yes, I do. <laughs> It's, it's pretty bad. bad. It's this knee <laughs> slap, dry humor. Okay, last question, Vooch. Who do you have in the finals this year? I'm watching this game right now, and it's Ooh. hard to tell like who's gonna win it. But who's playing right now? Uh, Atlanta, Atlanta, oh, and uh, New York. Yeah, and Trey has 24 points in the. That's third gonna be a good grade. series, I think. It's not. It's well. It, well I mean, they're up. They're up 11. So if it, New York, New York has to win this game, otherwise, I don't think they are. Uh, either way. 
out of the East, I have to go with Brooklyn. I just don't see anybody sure. that can match up with that much firepower. If they stay healthy. Yeah, if they stay healthy, I just don't. They're, they're really good, and they play well together. Like, they're not, you know. I think also oh. the other stage in career, they, don't, they only want to win, so they don't really care for numbers or anything. Yeah. But I mean, like you watch them in Boston. I know they're missing Jalen Brown, but it's still a good team. Like it didn't look like they couldn't do anything. It yeah, it's not looking good. Yeah, it's not looking good at all. The West all right, is tricky. West. I, I I I will go. Uh, I will still go with the Lakers just because I had hard to, I find it hard to bet against LeBron. The yeah. Clippers, I thought yeah. might, but like the two to Dallas, it's. I yeah, it's know, looking Luka, bleak. Looking Luka, bleak. Luca is amazing right now. I, like <laughs> unreal. One, the one shot he shot going left with the two screens, he just up just one like foot side step. That's crazy. Uh, and then I don't. I want to say like I don't see Utah. I don't see. No. It. I don't know why. I don't know why. Are they gonna get past Memphis? Some crazy shit. They will. I don't think yeah, Donovan sure. Mitch when he comes back, they will. But I just don't. I don't know. I don't see yeah. it. I, I just. It's hard for me to pick anybody other than the Lakers if they figure it out, which I, I felt like yesterday they looked much better. And like LeBron, get I think I feel like LeBron, if they get past Phoenix each round, he'll just get back to like you know being himself yeah. 100%, him and AD. And it's like, like, who can really like match up with them if you think about it? Yeah, I think hardest, Denver, Denver, thing. Denver would give them. They had trouble. Jamal Murray. Yeah, they're still yeah, struggling with Portland. Size, I know, but they're size. I hear you right, but still, but they, 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 this happened last year. Yeah, the Dame for sure, but nonetheless, bro, their size, like with Porter, Ag, Jokic, like they yeah, have some you decent miss that size. Guard bro. scoring that you need in the playoffs, like you need, yeah. like Jamal, like he he was doing that for them a lot, and he was taking a lot of pressure off Jokic. Pazzo is not going to get it done. Yeah. Yeah, it's gonna be hard. Which I, I don't and really uh like I think I want, I think they can still beat Portland even though they're missing Murray. Like like yeah. It's open. No I'll say that Jokic. this year it's open. We I think this year we could see a team that we hadn't like two teams yeah, that we true. haven't seen it, in the finals and then win. It's, it's crazy. It's just hard to like think of anybody that can beat LeBron four times, you know. Yeah, yeah if, true. If he's, held, that, he's just been there so many times and he like just knows how to what it takes win. and control the game. Like, you just see the way he changes in the playoffs. His game, how, uh, like, he controls, like, the whole game. His The pace is just – it's hard to bet against it. But I, got, I think it's going gonna, it's gonna to be fun, 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 some fun series, though. For sure. I got, I got one last question. So, I know Terrence is really big into conspiracy theories, and we obviously talk about him a lot. Did he – Chuma says he pushes them on the team, pushes, talks about them a lot. Did he talk to you about them? And did, is there anything that you learned from Terrence that you were shocked to learn? Well, we actually had a, quite a few good conversations on. Uh, These are, this is a, this yeah, is a, yeah, this yeah, is a yeah. question for another time. This is no, a I just want to hear just a time. quick, a no, quick. No. Something that I've learned. I'm not much, I'm not big into conspiracy here and there a little bit. Okay. Uh, he does take it. He does take it pretty far. Uh, <laughs> I agree. <laughs> something I've learned, or just like what? What was one that he always just like kind of talked to you about? And I, you... I'll say this: I, I came. I came into the gym one time talking to him about that video called the uh, the fall of Cabal. Yeah. Yes. And, and I, when and I, I was when I was stuck on it, and he's, that, yeah. yeah. And okay. I was like, really, like this is taking me to a dark place. And I was trying to find anybody, and then Vooch had seen it, and. The way I had felt about it, and then to see his reaction was yeah. so nonchalant, and it made me so mad. I, I felt like I had to kind of like persuade him on some things. Like I was like, "Bro, are you kidding me? This is happening!" And da, 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 da. and we just like, eh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I was just like, "How are you not convinced?" Yeah. But that's what you know. it's you. You're not changing no. his mind on anything. He already has his mind made up about. The, the, that's that is yes. It's it's a it's it takes a, quite a bit for me to change my mind. I will agree, but. <laughs> But I also when I, like when I have said things uh, things that on, on my mind is because I've done like my research to get to there. So, yeah. but yeah. I am. But my, this is my view on conspiracy theories. Like I'm not saying there aren't any, and I, there are some that I believe like in that. I, but I don't want to say them here because I don't. Know. <laughs> Wait, uh, UFOs? <laughs> UFO? What about UFOs? aliens? Aliens? I, I don't. No, no, none of that. He probably doesn't uh, really care about it. No, no. It's more, more of like you know, you know, like kind of shady. Dark government, world things going on. Yeah, exactly. Like yeah. Things uh, that New know. world order, one government. Exactly. Like things, oh, we, I know them like, all. <laughs> yeah, things like that happen yeah, like yeah. that. So some of those, like, I, I believe there are like certain things. But yeah. My thing is like, 
if I start going into it and like reading about it and like watching and like really getting into it, it was gonna like mess me up. I'm not gonna like it's gonna upset <laughs> me that th- th- yeah. these things are happening. Like the, the, this you. Is you can't stop it. So, yeah, so just... I stay away from it just for my peace of mind. Like there are certain things it. that I, I, I like I know like I, I'm pretty sure that they are happening. But if I get into it, like I'm just gonna like. So I don't know if you guys seen like the Blacklist, the, the TV show. I've heard of it, yes, and seen a couple episodes. So it's like, you know, it's all about this like dark, like behind like war that nobody, it's like the FBI and this guy who's like, like crime guy. And, like has a and, list like, of people. Yeah, it's, but like he's showing like this whole other side of the world, like where like governments are involved, like and things like that. And I think like a lot of it from that show could be actually true, but if I just get into it, I'm just gonna- It's gonna yeah. annoy you and you don't wanna be annoyed. It's gonna annoy, and I don't wanna do that. I like, I, you know, I wanna live like a very peaceful, nice life. <laughs> You know, I finish my, maybe I like, should go that route. Do you should, and like you know, have you know a, as good of a career as I can. You know, next couple of years, whatever it takes, <laughs> and then when I retire, you know, enjoy my kids, play some golf. You know, here in Orlando, and just you know, live, live your life. life. <laughs> but wait, I need to you know live in Orlando when you retire. I think so, bro. I think I'll be here. We'll be yeah. neighbors for forever yeah. after this point. So we, 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 I think we actually we yeah we actually we should we'll be pretty close because we, actually we might move to <laughs> a little bit closer to you and when you're there. So. Hell yeah. Well, we can hang out. Thank you so much. This is awesome, man. Good morning, good evening, good night. Welcome to the show. What a wonderful delight. Yeah, Patsy and T Rise. Better chop up on the mic. Just sit back, have a laugh, catch a vibe, and enjoy the ride. Yeah.